Hi, we're approaching today the last Shabbos of the year. Next Shabbat, next Friday night, we're going to usher in the Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year, the new year of 5781. This is the last Shabbos of Tavshin Pei, 5780. It is always that we read the Torah reading, the Shabbos before Rosh Hashanah, we read Parashat Nitzavim Vayelech. Nitzavim always, Vayelech at times yeah, at times no. Sometimes it's a single Parsha and at times it's a double Parsha. This year it is a double Parsha. So first of all, Whichever way, whatever Pasha we read, last Shabbos of the year. The last opportunity to enjoy a Shabbos in a relaxed way, in a happy way. Shabbat la Hashem Elokecha, a godly, holy Shabbos. I hope we are all going to take the opportunity of making it happen. It is the Shabbos that blesses the forthcoming month and the forthcoming year. Hashem blesses this Shabbos. And we want to cash in on the blessing. To a certain extent, this Shabbos is even more precious than Rosh Hashanah. Because this Shabbos is giving the blessing and inspiration to Rosh Hashanah. Parashat Nitzavim, the Parsha of today, the Parsha of this week, is called Nitzavim, which means standing firm. Moses, at the end of the 40 years in the desert, is telling the Jewish people right before going into the land of Israel, you are all standing firm today before Hashem Elokecha, before Hashem your God. The Zohar says the following. The Zohar, which is one of the original books of Kabbalah, of mysticism says the following the time of the year when this was said by Moshe to the Jewish people is in the month of Adar which is five months from now before before Purim before Pesach at the same time, we read the Torah reading and the Shabbos before Rosh Hashanah. The Zohar says that when the Torah says here, Atem Nitzavim Hayom, you are standing here today on a deeper level and in the infinity of the Torah that it includes many ways of looking at things. The Hayom, the Terei, is referring to the day of Rosh Hashanah, the day. Hayom Harat Olam. Today is the day that the world trembles. And we are all standing before Hashem on the day of Rosh Hashanah in the day of judgment. And the Zohar says, Atem Nitzavim Hayom. The Torah tells us that on this day of Rosh Hashanah, you are all standing firm, nitzav. Standing in Hebrew means omed. Nitzav means standing firm. We are all standing firm before Hashem on the day of Rosh Hashanah. And this is the way we need to approach Rosh Hashanah. And this is the Shabbos that blesses the forthcoming year. There was a social media message that was going around this week saying 
that during the 10 days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, Hashem is deciding how the world is going to be over the year based on our actions of the 10 days. So the message was saying, whatever we did last year, don't do it again this year. Obviously, we all had a very tough year, the last six months, a disaster, a disaster, a terrible situation in the world at large. At the same time, the way we need to approach Rosh Hashanah is not out of weakness, but with strength. You are standing firm. We are not giving up. We are not approaching the next year with doubts of uncertainty. But Nitzavim Hayom, standing firm before Hashem, demanding a year of goodness and kindness, Betov Hanire V'Aniglein, good that we appreciate and is visibly good. At the same time, the second Pasha of the week is Vayelech. Vayelech means walking, going. Vayelech Moshe. Moshe went. Well, walking and going is the opposite of standing firm. Moving is not standing firm. At the same time, it's not a contradiction. You could only walk healthy and firmly if you are standing firm. We need to be able to stand firm, putting a foot down and taking the next step. If we cannot put the, our foot down firmly on the ground, then it's very hard, almost impossible to take next step. So a double message, a double Pasha that blesses and inspires and gives us a the lead to the year. Nitzavim, stand firm on all the goodness and kindness and all the positive that has taken place in COVID-19 and in Corona and with despite the challenges. At the same time, Vayelech, we're moving forward. Going a step beyond, 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 beyond the here and now. This coming year, starting next Shabbat, it's going to be a different year, a year of nachas, health, happiness, a Shabbos Diki year. And a practical note. For the ones who are registering and planning to come for prayers at Chabad, if you did not register yet, please register. Very important, based on the details that are in the registration form. If you did register and you did not get a confirmation, either call the office or register again, because obviously it didn't go through if you did not get a confirmation. And if you're not certain, call the office to make sure. And there is one week left to prepare for Rosh Hashanah. We did bring in, and it arrived yesterday, 50 shofars that are, are available for the community. And we have on our webpage on Chabad.org, there is tutorials how to learn to sound the shofar, which one needs to learn it and to practice before Rosh Hashanah. Because on Rosh Hashanah itself, one cannot use the computer to know how to blow the shofar. So please contact the office if you are staying home and you want to fulfill the mitzvah of the shofar on the second day of Rosh Hashanah on Sunday which is when we hear the shofar. Shabbat shalom, good Shabbos, shana tova, betov hanire v'anigle umetuka, a good and sweet year in sweetness that we appreciate.